Doug Lamer and Stephen Means at the first day of Ohio State spring football practice on Wednesday. We got to watch about an hour uh, of the Buckeyes as they opened uh, the Ryan Day era. I mean, he kind of coached before, but not really. So, Stephen, you were in charge of watching the offense. I was in charge of watching the defense. Who jumped out from the hour that we got to watch in your mind? A couple of people. One, Chris Olave was amazing, and he's going to be amazing next year. He was amazing at the end of last season, and he, he made some pretty awesome catches today in some of the drills I watched today. But another guy is Marcus Crowley. There was no DeMario McCall today. There was no Master T today. And obviously, J.K. Dobbins is going to be the number one guy, so he got a lot of the first team reps. But the second team reps, Crowley got a lot of those reps, and I don't know how much of that was by design and how much of that was just enthusiastically getting in there because whenever – Matthew Baldwin was in with the second unit. They kind of rotated a lot of different running backs in there along with Crowley, but he seemed to get the majority of those second unit touches. So that was pretty interesting to me today. Um, on defense, there's guys playing very different positions. So it was hard to tell. You know, Chase Young looks great. They're doing defensive line drill, drills. Chase Young looks great. Jay Sean Cornell is at tackle now, had been playing some end. That's an interesting move. He was certainly working in with the ones a lot. I thought Tough Borland looked good. Tough Borland, I think last year when you try to evaluate his season, it's a little bit tough because I don't think it's, it's a little tough. Uh, he wasn't himself, right? I think he came. I think he might have come back a little fast because he was he was trying to get back on the field. I don't know that we saw the real tough Borland for long stretches of last year. He just looked fluid. He looked smooth and like he was moving to the ball. So um, I, I thought in the secondary, the fact that Brendan White is playing both linebacker and deep safety, depending what they're doing, is really interesting. And Ryan Day said that they have to just sort of figure out where guys fit the best. And then Sean Wade uh, was back with the safeties, but then those safeties were covering the slot in some situations. So Sean Wade back at safety after playing slot corner last year. I'm very interested where Sean Wade winds up. So I think on, on defense, it, guys weren't popping, but guys were moving. And I'm just curious where they fit those pieces together. And we will have much more coverage of Ohio State spring practice moving forward. Practice 2 is on Friday. We'll also be watching that. Make sure you go read our stories at cleveland.com for now. He's Steven. I'm Doug. See you later from the Woody Hayes Athletic Center.